Day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, you, you take us to a place of peace and rest and truth. Whenever we set our hearts on you, you welcome us down the way that is Christ and on a journey forward and upward into your kingdom. Lord, we pray for those who are lost in their journey, whose search is following a selfish path. We pray for those who seek only that which satisfies their agendas, their wants and desires, and not your will. And Lord, we pray for those who are nearest and dearest to us, to whom you have called us to be, to be present, to be witnesses. Lord, help us to bring truth into their lives in the way we live ours. Lord, when we get selfish in our understanding, when we get self-focused in our reality, we ask, Lord, that we will have help when we turn to your word, that we won't look for those words that answer what we want to say, but, Lord, those words that will speak what you are saying, that we will hear your voice, that we will quiet our hearts and humble our lives to receive your truth. Lord, we pray for those who lead us, who guide us in that truth. Parents in our lives who still see us as children, and if they do, O oh Lord, let us be seen as your children. Lord, help them to be good guides and strong witnesses in the way they live their faith, in the power and the responsibility that you have instilled into them. Let us be respectful, Lord, of those who have authority. The Lord, teach us also that we must be servants of all and that we who find ourselves in service recognize that high calling to serve one another and to represent Christ even in the way he washed his disciples' feet, even in the way that he took the cross, that we might not be afraid to sacrifice, that we might not be afraid to, to give up what we have, everything that we have to follow Christ. And Lord, let us be peaceful in the decisions you call us to make, that we will not be troubled or afraid, but in truth, obey your will, in truth, speak your truth, and in truth, live out our lives to the joy of our salvation. O oh Lord, we set our hearts upon you, even as we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And we turn to Mark chapter 7, reading, excuse me, reading at verse 29 and 30. And Jesus said to her, For this saying, go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and the daughter laid upon the bed. So often in our journey of faith, the greatest challenges that we face are not the personal obstacles, but those struggles that we face on one another's behalf. When we're, when we're presented with an issue that someone else is trying to deal with, and we're looking for answers for them that we can bring to them. The Syrophoenician woman goes looking for Jesus, not for things that she wants, but what she wants most is the well-being of her daughter. And in that moment, it is through that stress, that strain, that trouble, that she is drawn to her greatest conclusion, which, is, which impresses Christ, that we must in our faith, be willing to even accept the crumbs that fall from the Lord's table. That we must find the humility to be before the Lord a people that are not seeking for our own glory and our own praise, but are looking to bring praise and glory to God in everything that we do. That the, the help we can give won't be about the praise that we're going to get, but the praise that is a sign of, of God's love in our life. And so Jesus tells her that she's passed the test. She's gone through the struggle, the problem that had barred her and 
barred her in barred her in the situation she was in from being a grace into those that she loved and she brought that grace home she brought that witness home and she she had it waiting for when she got home in the healing of her daughter so may the message that we share today not just be for you but for those that you go home to love the the people that you go to to serve and to care for that god may be glorified that christ's love may be known god bless and keep you amen